Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today, we will demonstrate the addition of the activity ID column within the submittal register template, as well as within the submittal register module. The addition of schedule activity ID numbers will provide a benefit for identifying need dates for submittals. In previous versions of RMS, the provided submittal register template did not include the activity ID information necessary for submittals. If we take a look at the Import Export tab, under the Import Submittal Register Excel module, we will notice the Download Template button listed at the top. By clicking this button, RMS will automatically download the newly provided RMS approved template for importing submittal register information. Once downloaded, a zip folder will appear in the directory where downloads are applicable. This folder will need to be extracted prior to viewing the contents within. Depending on the version of Windows you are using, you may extract this folder simply by right-clicking the folder and selecting Extract All, or by selecting the Extract section from the File Explorer and selecting the Extract All button. Windows will prompt you to select the destination location, then click Extract. By entering into the extracted folder, we will notice two items listed, Excel Template and the Excel Template Sample. For this demonstration, we will enter a previously created template for this specific contract. It is important to note that the contract and delivery order numbers must match exactly what is listed in RMS before importing properly. The additional activity ID column can be found in the far right most section of this form. This is where you will add the activity ID numbers associated with the section numbers for the imported submittals. Once all information has been entered properly, you may import this file into the contract from the Submittal Import module. Proceed by selecting the Add button and choosing the previously edited template. RMS will now display the Excel import file information to be imported to include the activity ID information. Notice that if an activity ID is not listed, RMS will highlight the ID with red text stating this information is not found. For this demonstration, we will still request acceptance to import. Once accepted, we will merge this information into the proper submittal register by selecting the Merge option and Import Data as shown. RMS will display a warning message indicating that importing this information may have severe effects and will require authentication to continue. Once completed, RMS will display the Excel Import Complete screen. Now, let's take a look at our newly imported information in the Submittal Register module. Our newly imported submittal items are now listed below. By double-clicking any of the sections, the activities that were entered in the Activity ID column are now assigned properly. For the section with a non-existent activity listed, the required activity field displays as not set and can be assigned in the Submittal Item Edit View or by the Submittal Item Grid Edit View. To set the required activity in the Grid Edit View, click the Back button and select the Grid Edit option at the top. Here we can set the activities for any of the section items simply by double-clicking, selecting the ellipses, and selecting the proper pay activity. RMS Data Grid Editing Mode provides a convenient method to quickly set values for multiple records. Be sure to save the changes before exiting the RMS Data Grid Edit View.